Hi, I'm TJ with Pack Brake Company. Today we are going to go over our PRXB pressure regulated exhaust brake air system and our AMP onboard air systems. Customers commonly complain of a compressor that continually runs on or is purging. This is normally due to an air leak. Today we will diagnose how to find an air leak and the common causes of what may cause the air leak. The most common mistake in installing airlines into fittings is the preparation of the airline. Two main issues that arise are using side cutters can distort and squash the end of the airline. This allows the airline not to smoothly insert into the o-ring inside the fitting. It can cause damage and cut the o-ring. At that point the fitting then becomes unusable and needs to be replaced. Using an X-Acto knife and cutting it on an angle can cause the same issues or may not allow the cut edge of it to be inside the o-ring and seal. Use of a tube cutter allows you to make a nice easy quick cut that is perfectly 90 degrees. This ensures that the nylon hose will fit inside the fitting o-ring and perform a good seal. Other causes of an air leak may be abrasion where the airline has been rubbing against uh, another part of the vehicle system or being run too close to excessive heat and here you can see that it has actually blown out the hose. These two leaks will cause the compressor to continually run whereas a minor leak that a distorted hose and a leaking fitting may cause the compressor may run and continue to burp whereas it runs and shuts off and then starts right back up within a few seconds, shuts off and starts back up. One other common misconception is that the hose has actually not been inserted fully into the fitting and is seated in the O-ring. Most push to connect fittings will actually require the hose to be pushed into the fitting approximately 3 8 to 1 half inch. Here I have shown with the black electrical tape how far this hose must be inserted into the fitting to fully seal. Commonly people will push it in once and believe that it is fully seated. It is actually not inside the o-ring. You can push further and harder and see that it is now fully sealed. To find an air leak we need to create a solution. A simple solution of one part household dish detergent and four parts water in a spray bottle. From there then we can pressurize our system and start soaking down all fittings to look for leaks. A common configuration for our air systems are a half gallon air tank with our 325 series air compressor. In this configuration it'll take approximately one minute for the compressor to fill the tank to 135 psi and turn off which is dictated by the pressure switch. If in that time it does not shut off I would start to look for a large air leak that was caused by either abrasion or a burst air line that was too close to a heat source. Now I will demonstrate a small leak by pressurizing the system. Now that our system has pressurized, we'll use our soapy water solution to check all of the fittings for any air leaks. It's important to check at the hose and at the threaded portion of the fitting. Oh, and here we can see that we have an air leak. This air leak is coming from the threads. To fix this, we should remove the line, remove the fitting, and replace the sealant with new thread tape or liquid sealant. Now that we have found our leak and we want to fix it, it's imperative that we reduce all pressure within the system before removing any airlines or fittings as this could cause a risk. I've previously drained the air from this system and I'm now going to remove the airline. Pull in the ferrule at the end of the fitting and pull out the airline. Now we will remove the fitting. Now that we have removed the airline and the fitting, it's time 
to reapply a thread sealant to the fitting threads. Options are a PTFE type thread tape or a liquid thread sealant. In this case, you can see I've opted to use the thread tape. To install the fitting, first off, hand tight the fitting, as tight as you can get it by hand. And from there, you only want to tighten the fitting one to three threads past. Over tightening of an MPT fitting will cause damage to the threads and normally an unrepairable fitting. Now that we have replaced the thread sealant tape on the fitting and reinstalled the airline, I've gone and I've recharged the system, let the compressor fill up and shut off, and again we will check for air leaks with our soap and water solution. Now we can see we have no bubbling at this fitting connection. The problem has been solved and the air leak is gone. I hope you found this video useful. Just remember that after installation and or replacing any components, it is necessary to check for air leaks. To do this, please make sure that the system is pressurized first. If you have any questions or need replacement parts, please contact us at 1-800-663-0096 or at www.packbreak.com. And thank you, have a great day.